Ever had somebody come up to you and go, what were you thinking? <laughs> Me too. Let's talk about it. Hey, Barry Smith here of YouChoose.Community, author, husband, father, pastor of 25 years, and a guy who often makes unwise decisions. I'm 54 years old right now, and I should have some life knowledge by this time. And I do, but here's the thing. Wisdom can only come from God because he is the source of that wisdom. Look at Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Wise people will understand that. This verse is the conclusion of the introduction of the book of Proverbs, and it's a foundation for the whole book of Proverbs. Fools despise wisdom and instruction, or, or discipline. Solomon is making a clear and direct charge. He's very adamant that any knowledge gained as a precedence over the Lord is wasted. Knowledge must start with the fear of God. That fear is not primarily some sort of panic or terror of God. It's about extreme respect for God, and it hints at the consequences that might happen because of you not realizing where that comes from. Of course, there are some very smart people out there, but true knowledge can't exist without a reverent fear of God. It's about giving priority to God. He is the source or beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge is fine, but apart from fearing the Lord, it's out of place. Knowledge can become an idol of sorts when it takes chief place in someone's life, apart from God as the source of that knowledge. And that's what I believe has happened to America. There are a lot of really knowledgeable people out there, and we hear them all the time, especially talking about politics. But when God is not the priority and foundation of that knowledge, again, it's out of place, and it's dangerous. You see, a wise person fears and reveres and obeys the Lord. A fool despises God's ways and can't receive instruction about what God wants them to do. God is the starting place. But for a fool, they don't have that foundation of wisdom, and it's out of place. Romans 1.21 says, For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools. When you ignore God, you miss the source of real wisdom. And what happens is people try to tame God into some sort of non-threatening entity or being. But that doesn't work because God is the all-powerful creator of the world. When we see him and think about him with such majesty and power, we see life from God's perspective and we act and react accordingly. That means we should bring grace and truth to every relationship that we have, to every political or religious stance that we take, and everything else for that matter. Until our hearts are in a right relationship with God, we are unable to have the wisdom that comes from God. It all starts with a healthy fear of God Almighty. Without the fear of the Lord, we make final decisions based on our faulty human understanding. Are you in a right relationship with Him? Do you want to be? I'd love to visit with you about that. Just comment in the notes below and let's start a dialogue about it. And as always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. It helps us get the word out and we need new subscribers to keep the channel going. And if you like our stuff, consider supporting us with a tip on PayPal or tax-deductible donation at youchoose.community. Those links are below. So right now, go ahead and hit that thumbs up ding, and share this thing with somebody you know because no doubt somebody needs to hear this. And comment below if you'd like to talk about your relationship with God. Until next time, God bless.